Uh-oh. Finley, there you are. Thank you for coming. Well, sure, Dr. Theobald. Uh, what can I do for you? Nothing, nothing, but I wanted to talk to you. First of all, I would like to thank you. You've done an excellent job these past few days. Oh, thanks. Is that all you wanted? <laughs> no, not at all. Heard about her with the calm was passing, of course. Tragedy, truly. Like so many others here in Porcupine, I knew Irma well and liked her a lot. I'll miss her very much. The whole town will. But you were the one who looked after her and were there for her in her final days. Is Irma the first patient who's died under your care? Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's not uncommon to struggle getting your getting your what? Getting your them off your mind? The first time. <laughs> I still remember my first too. I think I know what you mean. I still think about Mr. Takama a lot. Mrs. Takama a lot. Just try not to let those thoughts affect you too much. After all, there are still plenty of other people depending on your health. Don't get distracted from looking out for them. Therma's funeral service this afternoon will be held at Gilbert's. Julian hosts most of the funerals in his town. I'm sure this one will be especially hard for him to be there. He'll feel better afterward, believe me. You mean I, I can go to the service? You're excused for the rest of the day. And I'm sure Ms. Uh, DeCalma would have invited you anyway. Alright then, I'll, I'll be there. Thank you, Dr. Theobald. I need to thank me, Finley. Say goodbye to the old lady for me. Okay. Near problem. See you again tomorrow. Give my regards to older mom, alright? Please give my condolences to Giuliano as well. You got it. You got it, buddy. I am outie. See you, amigo. We'll take the elevator. Nice and quick. Perhaps. Uh, take care, kiddo. And don't slip on the snow. I already pulled something in my back this morning. Yeah, that crap ain't no joke. Oh, I'm not hungry. Okay. Ain't no joke. Oh, it's dark out already. Okay. I do like the style of the game. I, li I like the 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 environment, the background art. It does look nice. I think it, the the characters. I'm not sure they fit in completely with the style of the backgrounds. They they they're a little. I don't know. They're all right though. It's not it's not, it's not bad. Uh oh. Can I interest you in a hot cup of coffee? Perhaps a tea or a saffron roll? No thanks. Sorry, I I've got somewhere to be. Sure thing. You don't seem to like the weather much either, do you? It smells a bit stale. Uh oh. We're all hanging out outside. Alright, here goes. So you're here too, young one. Good to see you. The roller coaster of life never stops, does it? A few days ago, we gathered to celebrate. Today, we've gathered to weep. Oh, th thanks for sharing. Oh, Finley. Hey, Giuliano. I'm so sorry. I wish I had more. Finley. It's okay. Thank you for coming. I know we haven't known each other long, but means a lot to me. Please make yourself at home. There's food and, and drink. Go ahead, take a seat. Just uh Let's make yourself at home. Is there really nothing I could do for you? Come to think of it, there is one thing, actually. Oh, anything you want. What is it? I think there's a colleague of yours here, too. He didn't hang around long. Just stood in the corner and didn't talk to anyone. And I think he went out the back door. I haven't seen him since. Let's go see if he's still there. 
I checked myself, but I got my hands full. Sorry, uh, here I am asking for you, uh, for, for your help again. I'm surprised that these typos are still in this game. How many weeks has it been now? Has it been out? Three weeks? It's no problem, Giuliano. I'd be happy to do that, to do that for you. Thank you. I could do that. Oh no, it's her funeral! Her, her little guy that's going to go in the forest. Well, I'm sure Pina made the figurine. Such a nice tradition. Proud of you, Pina. Ah! Oh, that's it? Did you know Irma? Well, of course. I loved stopping the chat to her during my rounds. She was always sitting in her window with a plate of cookies next to her. She always made me coffee on cold days. Love one of her coffees right now. Irma. Can't believe she just died like that. So unfair. <laughs> Thank you, neighbor. <clears throat> wow, you're here. Sorry, Finley. I know how much you like Therma. How you feeling? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just happy I could be here today. Me too, Finley. Uh, me too. Even if it has been a bit stressful for me. But I'd do anything for Irma. If there's anything I could do for you, just say it, okay? Who's this guy? We never learned his name, eh, Finley? Ted, you're here too. I don't think we learned his name, did we? We may have. Of course, I've really fallen in love with this little bar. Or didn't know where there was a funeral today. I didn't know the deceased at all. But I'd still like to be here for the wake. Well, I'm sure Juliana will be glad to see you. I hope so. Oh. Ooh, what do I got going? Oh, I added Ted, didn't I? There we go. Ted is new in town as well. She doesn't have uh, a place to stay. Oh, Ted is, is a she. She doesn't have a place to stay yet, uh, so she moved into the motel room at Gilbert's. She could probably just stay there for a while. The place isn't that expensive and never gets booked much anyway. Speaking of which, she's working on a book right now. I wonder how that will turn out. How does she know all this? Or how does Finley know all this? Oh. Well, Gregor, you're here too. Get lost, kid. Well, don't you want to come inside? Service is about to start. No. Well, there, there's food and, and drink too. Lots of people are here. Leave me alone. Okay. All right. Well, that's that's a little strange. I'll, I'll leave him alone. Oh, it's all my fault. What do you mean? I'm doing the best I. C oh, he thinks. The water leak is his fault and, and contributed to her death. I know the hospital relies on me, but I'm the one who's supposed to look after it after all. The old lady hadn't got sick or the water damage hadn't happened. I just taken better care of the hospital. Maybe she wouldn't have. This is my burden to bear. I'll never forgive myself. All those people in there? See the way they look at me. They know it's my fault. It's not your fault. Well, I, I felt the same way. I was the one treating her right up until the end. I still believed she'd get better. I didn't want to face the fact that she was going to die. But in the moment she passed, I knew she was at peace with it. She was old. Her body was weak. She was happy. She didn't want people looking after her all the time. And that's okay. I did my best, and you did too. Sometimes, things crumble and collapse anyway. Sometimes we have to say goodbye to people. Sometimes we can't help them. You know, I'm going in now. Come with me if you'd like. You can't. I'm going to stay here. Okay. If you change your mind, just know that you'll be welcome. Sure, whatever. You should go. I don't want to disturb the bereaved. 
but you should do what feels right for you. No one's forcing you to stay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's go in. Go in at the same time, they won't all be staring at me. And I can slip away quickly if I need to. Alright, sounds good. Oh, he's not following! Okay, now he's following. Uh oh. What's up with this guy? Why did all the noises go silent? Why did all the noises go silent? Why was he spying on us? Mama used to pick me up from kindergarten. My mom ran a restaurant with her once. That was a long time ago now. Can I go up these stairs, I wonder? Was I always able to go up here? Did I go up here before and I just don't remember? <laughs> oh, secret room! That's got literally nothing in it! <laughs> what do you mean, game? Was this always here? Oh no! I don't remember going up here, but... I mean, I started the game like three weeks ago, right? And I play this in sessions, of course. So, it can be easy to forget things sometimes. So, did you find him? Yeah, he's the janitor at the hospital. He doesn't want to come in. He needs some time to himself. I think we all do. Glad he's here though. Speaking of which, how are you old enough? I'm coping. Please let me know if there's anything I can do. I will, my friend. We sit down, it's about to start. Um. Is there. Oh, look at that. That's me up there. Did I point that out already? I probably did. Windmill there? Why is there a windmill there? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to interact with here, right? I, I've, I've pretty much covered it all. Dear guests, can I have your attention for a moment? Oh, uh, oh okay. I was wondering if I was going to actually show the wake or not. Oh, nope, it didn't. Thank you all for coming. I can barely bring myself to speak. The last night, Irma? Oh no, it didn't skip it. Never mind. Oh, my dear mother passed away. She's a... She was a real talker. Always telling stories. She was surrounded by people who loved her. It's you guys. And thanks for that. All of you. When, uh, when I was little, she taught me to play an instrument. Practiced with me. I hated every second of it. But, um, and when I was playing, her eyes would just light up. I wish she could look at me that way again. I'll play a very special song for you. The song Irmo requested every time I picked the instrument up. Oh, I got a musical number. Where's Mia? Where's Carl? Where are people? <laughs> that frog in his tongue. I remember one day it was really frosty when I had to deliver my letters. I slipped on a patch of ice. A whole mailbag fell into the river with all the letters still inside it. And I tore my cruciate ligament. It not only helped me but fish every letter out of the river. She even dried them, restored them, and delivered them for me. Now, Irma worked with my parents in a restaurant. Things have been going downhill for a while, then... We came up with a new dish. Rainbow beet gratin. Ugh. 
Stomach beats. It was a hit! Before long, it was the only dish anyone wanted. Uh, Irma and I used to play backgammon together every Thursday in the summer. How'd you know, Irma Finley? I, uh... Oh, God. I'll tell you how that squirt knew Irma. He's the one who let her die. It's the truth. Irma was in great shape. Then one day she just bends over, sprains an ankle, ends up in the hospital. A few days later, suddenly she's sick, real sick. And then she just dies. I'm telling you, it's all that guy's fault. Him and all the staff at that awful hospital. I just heard them talking about it right now. They're letting the hospital deteriorate. It's so bad the folks who get there pick up new diseases in the wards. Irma didn't even have pneumonia until they took her to that dump. I'm telling you, Irma didn't just die. She was murdered there. It's If St. Ursula's wasn't so useless, Irma would still be with us today. We'd be celebrating, not mourning. Everyone who works there should stand up and take the blame for this. We'd all be better off if that hospital was torn down and never darkened our skyline again. Ralph, that's a crock of nonsense. Nah, hold on. Maybe he's got a point. Yeah, St. Ursula's is dangerous to, a danger to us all. That's right, we need to run the mur these murderers out of town. What, what, are, what are these bystanders jumping in on these crazy conspiracy people? Maybe it would be better that way. Look around you. Do you see anyone from the hospital here except for this clown? Exactly. They don't even have the nerve to come to her funeral. I thought it was strange that... That, um... No one from the hospital was here. I would think Carl and Mia would come. Like, why aren't they here? That's so weird. Because they know it's their fault. Plain as the nose on your face. But, uh... Quiet, everyone. Please. This isn't about pointing the finger at anyone. This isn't about St. Ursula's. It's about Irma, my mother. Your friend. Finley? Yeah? I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but perhaps it would be best if you leave. What? Why don't you kick out the, the crazy patrons? But, please, I, I don't want this argument to ruin Irma's funeral memor uh, memorial. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Let's talk later. What? Okay. Well, that's a load of baloney. Whatever, game. <laughs> Whatever. Oh man, that didn't go how I expected. Uh oh. Looks like my cell phone had no reception at Gilbert's. Me and Carl both tried to call me. Oh god. What do you mean, game? Why are you forcing me to choose? Um, alright. Hey, Finley. Thanks for calling me back. I was worried when I saw you today. You okay? I'd be lying if I said I was. Oh. I, um... I don't know if it'll help, but... I actually have plans for tonight. I think I need to get my mind off things, and... I'm guessing you might want to as well? Come along, we could help each other. Mia will be there too. Sure, why not? Cool. I, I just got off work. Alright, well, I'm standing in the middle of the town square. Perfect, I'm heading your way now. Let's meet at the hospital entrance, okay? Alright, we'll see you soon. Oh, hospital entrance doesn't seem like a halfway point. What do you mean? So what, what are we doing anyways? Where is she taking me? It's Mia and Pina? Why can't we take Carl with us, right? I feel like we can take Carl with us. Is this a funeral over already? Dr. Krakowski told me you were there. Yeah, I sure was. It was an argument. People said it was my fault Irma died. What? I wanted to explain myself, but I didn't get the chance. That's so mean. It makes me so angry. Yeah. Can we change the subject, maybe? Anything special going on in your life? Well, today's my stage debut. W what do you mean? Well, I'm rehearsing with the Porcupine Amateur Dramatics Group for the first time. Come watch. I want to get used to having an audience. Do I need to do anything? Watch, listen, 
nod. Don't be too harsh a critic. Well, I can do that. Yay, let's go! The rehearsal's taking uh, place on the small stage in the park. Um, where was that exactly? It was over here somewhere. All right, I'm running. Thank you. 